we have great news and some free gifts for you. Every year here at Christ the Servant King, CSK Hampton, we join in with the National Prayer Initiative, Thy Kingdom Come. The dates this year are the 13th to the 23rd of May. There are three different exciting and easy steps to this year's plan. Step one. From this Wednesday, the 5th of May, these wonderful journals are available for you to collect from our church building any time that Chimes Our Coffee Shop is open or on Sundays at 5pm. Kintsugi is the Japanese art of putting broken pottery pieces back together with gold, built on the idea that in embracing flaws and imperfections, you can create an even stronger, more beautiful piece of art. The cover of the journal is like Kintsugi, reminding us that God repairs our brokenness and makes us into something even more beautiful. The journal covers the 11 days of Thy Kingdom Come. And each day, there's a few words to read, a prayer to offer, and an invitation for you to note down your own reflections. An opportunity for us each to be renewed by his spirit. Those of you who would like to do so will be welcome to share reflections in various ways with us during Thy Kingdom Come. That's step number one. But wait, there's even more. There's also this, the digital family prayer adventure map. And inside of this, there are lots of different activities on the prayer map. Different activities for each day that help your children interact with the different prayer themes for Thy Kingdom Come. And there's even also a phone app that goes with it that you can download free for your smartphone from either the Google Play Store or from the Apple Store. And that helps you interact with the map with augmented reality technology, which sounds rather exciting if you ask me. So do come in and grab one of these along with your prayer journal when you come to the church. And we really hope that these things help you to go deeper into prayer during thy kingdom come. Step two. Our prayer space is back. It's going to have to look a little bit different to be COVID secure, and we're only going for 24 hours this time, between 4 p.m. on Saturday the 15th of May and 4 p.m. on Sunday the 16th, just before Taze. You will need to be either an individual or a family group to be able to book in, and there'll be a few COVID management steps in place. But we are so looking forward to being able to have one of these again, the first time since February 2020. The theme will be Pentecost Fire. So sign up soon. Step three. And our third thing is our community artwork that we're calling Hope in the Storm, to reflect that this time has had much to lament. But we also want to look forward to hope. And we want you to join in that with us. Lauren, what's it going to look like? So we're going to create a very large um, ocean scene seascape and um, it's going to be in lovely shades of blue with waves but we'd really like some contributions from children, from teenagers, from grown-ups and um, we're going to have lots of little boats available in which you can write your uh, words, your prayers, your hopes for the future, your memories from the past year. There's going to be lots of craft bits to stick on as well and we'd really love as many contributions as possible. Perfect. And when it's finished, it will either be up on the walls of Chimes or the back hall. So it's going to be here under a gazebo right outside church from Wednesday the 19th of May to Saturday the 22nd during Chimes opening hours. So see you there. We are so excited and really looking forward to discovering where Jesus might want to take us as we engage with prayer this year. Please do join us as we journey together.